Hello, hello, I am Valerie Orsoni, your healthy living and weight loss coach. It's almost Thanksgiving, yes, and every year you have your four days off and you have turkey, turkey sandwiches, roasted turkey, turkey something else. You have turkey all over for three, four days and you're going to find hundreds of recipes on how to roast a perfect turkey. That's why I am not making turkey with you, nope, we're going to make a pheasant. One difference uh, between turkey and pheasant is the potassium content. Uh, pheasant actually contains three times more potassium than turkey, which is very good for us. It's uh, something that helps us replenish our potassium stores after we exercise, for instance. We are going to roast a pheasant French way. I'm going to tell you, it's very easy, but it's a step-by-step -step process. So really follow me from step one to the end and you will be impressed. Obviously, you can also make pheasant you know, for Christmas, for New Year's Eve, for any big party, you don't have to only make it for Thanksgiving. Let's get going. I'm ready to make this pheasant with you. So because I just said pheasant, some people might think, oh my God, it's going to be a very chic recipe requiring tons of crazy ingredients. Absolutely not. Look, we need an orange, an onion, th a thyme, carrot, salt, pepper, butter or margarine, Madeira wine. If you don't find Madeira, port will do fine. Some bacon but you can also get rid of bacon if you don't eat pork, by the way, and some uh, concentrated chicken stock. If you don't find that, the regular chicken stock will do as well. So we get started by sprinkling about two pinches of salt inside the pheasant. So on one side, and then if it's open on the other side here, yeah, we're gonna put it here as well. So two on that side as well. So then pepper, both sides as well. So then we'll take about a Half of the carrot, taking the thinnest side, the smaller side. Chop the carrot, and then we just put the carrot in the pheasant. Little bit of thyme sprig inside as well. Voila. So, and then about a fourth of the onion. We're gonna remove the skin, obviously. Just need to chop it coarsely, no need to be very precise. If you have too much, because the inside is too small, it's okay, you don't need to put too much onion anyway. And then we'll take a half of the of the orange that we just squeezed and we're gonna cut it in small slices like this and then we'll put about three of those slices in the pheasant. Don't then we just make sure the oven dish is well covered in either butter or hydrogen none sorry <laughs> hydrogenated margarine. Voila. And we are going to place the pheasant in here. I might actually so if your pheasant doesn't really stay together like this, we're gonna put some, uh, something around it to make it stay like this. So just this easy knot is enough. We don't need to do the crazy thing we sometimes see where it's completely surrounded with this. That's good. So then we put the bacon like this in a cross pattern. Uh, we won't eat the bacon, we will just remove it after half the time uh, of roasting has gone by. Voila. So if you don't eat bacon or pork and that's something you don't like, you can just not put bacon now and use a little bit of butter to put on top of the pheasant. If you actually love a lot of bacon, you can put more strips like this to really cover the pheasant completely. So I uh, preheated my oven at 450 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 230 Celsius. I'm gonna put the pheasant in for about 15 minutes and then we'll do a little something to it. I forgot to tell you something very important. As you can tell, the pheasant is on the lower bottom of the oven and that's very important to not burn it. So after 15 minutes now we remove the bacon. So now we'll let it roast for 30 more minutes. Very important though, this is a very lean meat, so we don't want to overcook it, otherwise it will become very dry, so 30 minutes, no more. Look at this amazing pheasant here, all ready and roasted. So I'm going to transfer the pheasant here and then take the, uh, the pan here, the dish here, to deglaze it. I'm going to explain you everything. So we transfer the oven dish here over a large burner. Turn it on high. As it is boiling here, we're gonna remove as much fat as we can. Just the yellow part, if we can avoid, and, and then the pieces like this as well. This thing that looks like a, some foam. Ow, it's very hot, be careful. Woo. 
So we're gonna leave a little bit of fat in here. We just removed the floating things that we don't wanna have in our juice at the end. So now we are gonna first whoop, use our orange juice. This is the juice of a full orange. I'm just gonna put about half of it and then turn on the heat. So then with a wooden spoon, I'm just gonna scrape the bottom of the pan to get all these rich flavors. Then I add the Madeira wine and I mix. So now I'm gonna let it boil, like baby boils like this, until it's half reduced. If you're afraid to burn your forearms or your hands really, feel free to wear gloves, long sleeves. So you can see the juice is getting more brown and that's a good indication that it is reducing. Before doing this recipe, as you could tell, I actually used the same oven dish that I used to uh, roast the pheasant to actually make the deglaze, uh, the deglazing part. If you are not sure your, your, your dish can uh, survive direct heat, which is pretty intense for underneath, uh, you can always scrape everything from the dish, transfer it into a regular pan or pot, sorry, and put it on this big uh, burner and you'll get not exactly the same thing, but pretty much the same result. It's a tad bit different because you're losing a little bit of juices in the process. So now it has reduced about half. We can add the chicken stock, the concentrated chicken stock. You can find the recipe for the uh, concentrated chicken stock by clicking on the little I symbol on the upper right hand side of the screen. Okay, so now it's reduced. We are going to add, oh by the way, if this is burnt on the side here, do not scrape it. So now we're gonna add the butter. Blend well. Okay, now the, uh, we have finished deglazing the sauce and making a nice little sauce to serve with the pheasant. We will plate the pheasant on the big platter with some orange slices and everything, and we will put the sauce on the side so that your guests can decide how much they want. So our pheasant is now ready to be served. I added on the side here the reduction we made earlier and because it had cooled off enough, I could remove more of the oil on top, more of the fat. So it's almost pure reduction, no fat included, I mean just a little bit. And I also added some homemade cranberry sauce. Uh, you can find the recipe uh, on this uh, YouTube channel by clicking on the upper hand side of this video, there's a little eye. Click on that and it will take you to the recipe. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. Don't hesitate to share your pictures on Instagram, tag me, Valerie or Sonny, and don't hesitate to share your feedback on this page. Happy Thanksgiving and I'm looking forward to our next recipe together. Mm -hmm.